Welcome to my Zendikar Rising MTG Arena drab video for YouTube, recorded live at Twitch TV slash Mercurial Blue. Okay, we're looking at a Skyclave apparition, a Lull Mage is familiar, a Royal Eruption, and a Subtle Strike. I mean, so the thing with Skyclave apparition, I think it's better in Constructed than it is in, like, Draft, but the fact that this actually just can deal with uh, Rusa Drakes or like Ruin Crab because it just makes Ruin Crab into a generic 1 1 that they remove it or when it leaves the battlefield, I mean. I mean, that is a downside if you use this to like exile a 4 4 beater and then they kill it or you have to chump with it, they still have the 4 4 because it's got a 4 4 token. But I think it's still fine to play it. It's like, ooh, Fearless Fledgling, nice. So they took the rare, I don't know what else could be found from that. Cunning Geyser Mage and a Subtle Strike again, but I'll take a second pick, Fearless Fledgling, seems good. Yeah, that's a good one. I just like that the Skyclave apparition is really flexible. Like, you can exile, like, a Maul to Skyclave. Yes, if they kill the, the Skyclave apparition, they get a 3 3, but I'd rather them have a 3 3 token than a, Sky, a Maul of the Skyclaves. Right? That's just much easier to deal with. Shepherd of Heroes or, like, a really weird enchantment. I don't think this enchantment is actually good. It looks like it's good, but... I don't know. It's it's as your draft, yeah. I think I just want to take the Shepherd of Heroes. There's nothing really, really pulling me into another color right now. For sure. I definitely tried out Weird Rares sometimes just to play it. Like, I forced an Omnav draft, like a last week or whatever, went 1-3, but that was... I actually had tons of fixing for Omnath, it's just... Uh, not enough interaction was the problem, right? And it's also best of one, so like, you can take like, an amazing deck and then just like, get beat up because your opponents have like, absurd draws. And best of one. It, it's really bad once you hit like, plat 4, it feels like, like the... the the, the rate at which people draw super well is extremely good. I mean, there's a practice tactics, which hits for two right now, or a Balagad recovery. I mean, I think this card's fine. Like, a lot of people don't play around it. And... I mean, green's, like, fine. It's just... I don't really want to commit to green for that. I think this is fine. There's nothing else really pulling me to a different color. So you have to be aware of a practice tactic because they kill your creature in response. It, they can make it do less damage. It's something you have to be aware of. You just like try to because I've, I've actually done that before. Like when my opponents like um yeah green's open. It looks like I might just take this canopy bail off because really good at beating people up. There's also a, a Song Mad Treachery and a title or field research, but um, it's either the Visionary or the Bailoff I'm deciding. Visionary would be better with my tactics. Bailoff just like kicks people to really fast. You like Visionary. Uh... Visionary does work better with the tactics and the Shepherd. Right? Yeah, let's get the Visionary. His vision is scary. Well, Royal Mage, I think, over Subtle Strike. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to take either of these green cards. It's not good enough. Hey, thanks for the raid, some of your players and foxes. Fox spin. Fox spin. Hope the Eternal went well. Hope the Eternal went well. Big shout out if you want to watch uh, high quality eternal content, you should check out the Cyber Playground. I might do some eternal on Wednesday, I'm not sure. I might be doing I might I, I'm not doing magic on Wednesday, that's for sure. Ooh, another visionary. His vision is scary. 
Or do we want to know tactics? Tic Tacs. Hmm. We just want all the visionaries. I don't think everyone want to play two of this, do I? That's a little excessive. Kaito Cleric is really weird. It's like a cleric card and it's a very aggressive thing. The bird makes party, yeah. Useful kicker as well, yeah. Oh, you like the Kaito Cleric? Um, maybe? I don't know. I think I like it more when I'm really, really aggro. Okay, white green maybe? Or no, Jabro's really bad actually, sorry. You like the kicker guy. Oh, thank you very much for resub, Spam Foxes. Fox Spam. Jerbo was really bad, don't play it, but I don't really want to play anything else is the problem. Like, I guess Blood Beckoning is the best card. Otherwise, or am I taking a Mita Mirasa? I don't know, this is not great. This card is really bad. I think we're gonna take the combat trick and not be super happy about it. The 2-3. Uh, oh, you mean the Mantle? I guess it's a 4-5. I've actually played it in black-green before and been, like, okay with it. Like, in black-green, it's fine just because it has counters. Raptor's gonna be good with my landfall guy, I guess, right? I don't hate it. 1-4 is a bad card that's good for your party. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't even thinking about the 1-4 at all. I mean, this is just a 3-3. Three, three. That's fine in the party, or I want Stomper to finish. I think I actually just want the Stomper to finish, maybe. These are all bad, I don't want any of it. I'm just gonna take the green card to, for signaling. Ox or Strike? I think we take the Ox because I don't really like Strike that much. Yeah, these are all whatever. Broken Wings, we can main deck that. Ooh, hey! An on-color rare! Also, um, a Sproutling and uh, a Pack Beast. But, let's take an on-color rare. Now we actually want, like, those Baylofs and, uh, Baylofs and the, um, Scythe Cats and stuff. Because this is gonna be work well there. I also really want the Uncommon if I can, but the Murasa Root Grazer and like some Rabbit Bites and some Nahiri's Bindings and other stuff. Another Fledgling is also well within what I would like for my list. I'm not even passing anything I want. Maybe you get the Sentinel back? But I'll take a second Fledgling. Yeah, no, Fledgling. Ooh, the Root Grazer! Yes! Yes! Burr. Yeah, Root Grazer. Doing it! Hey there, sibling, how's it going? Pick three, Root Grazer. Yeah, we did it. Now I want some interaction. Give me interaction. I need, like, interaction. I got in. I got in. Yush wow! What? Wait, what? Wait. Fourth pick, lol made dumb. I mean, I'm taking the fledgling, but yikes. I mean, yeah. Fourth pick, fourth pick domination also, but whatever. We just have three fledglings. Doing job applications. Well, good. Wish you good luck with the job applications. You blue, blue, blue black rogue could have been, yeah, good maybe. Yeah, there was some decent black in start of pack two. Yeah, we start seeing like a bunch of soaring thought these. That's kind of Cargan intimidator. I'm so confused. Pick five Cargan Intimidator. That doesn't make sense at all. I mean, I think I take the Vastwood Fortification over a Dopey Two Drop. It's a spell land. I actually like Cliffhaven Kite Sail and White Green. Also, by the way, I think it's good. Uh, these are all bad. I might have to play a Cat or a Team Pump. They're gonna be stoked about it, yeah, but I just haven't seen, like, a ton of other red. Um, it's bad because, like, the it's really understated. You have to be, like, double spelling a lot. I mean, I guess I can take it because I don't really want any of this other stuff. There's also just not that much go-wide in the format to really benefit you. Yeah, there's a royal maze there, but we'll take the spell land. 
You just have to understand, you know. There, there was nothing in that pack I was really excited about anyways. You know, black cards that I don't really want. But, um, so the problem is it's a 1-2, so that's really below, like, the stat line for where you want to play for your 3-drop. Like, people are playing, like, 2-3s and 3-3s three threes at 3. And then you, you basically just need to keep hitting lands constantly to make it work. Which is the problem with it. You know, I think we're getting cut now, which sort of sucks, but... 13-5. You really need interaction, otherwise it's gonna be like a one-trick deck. It's like, draw the fledglings, not have them die, and draw land. Probably need to play like 19 lands in this deck, honestly. Like a strike? Or a brute? I might actually take the strike because I need a generic combat trick. To push my guy through a blocker. Even though I hate combat tricks like that. You know, actually I guess the Brute was fine, I already had like the Mighty Mirasa, didn't I? Yeah, I probably could've just played the Brute, just to have a 3-drop Dauntless Unity. There's also just not a lot of token makers outside of, um, the ones that are already really good, like Rusa Drakes and, um, Felidar Retreat, and you don't need, like, can Canyon Jerboa to make them better. Mammoth Incoming, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that green-white landfall deck that had Mammoth in it, and a bunch of other stuff it was pretty absurd. Ooh, speaking of, uh, absurd rare. Eldar Retreat. Yeah. Easy 1-3 deck. 1-3 deck? Do -do -do. If I'm not getting any bag, maybe the Outrider comes back, but... Damn, getting so lucky with the rares, right? We just need removal. Really need removal. I don't want to play, like, a bunch of combat tricks and help my opponents block. Rabbit Bite, yes! Okay, we need to take this Rabbit Bite. Even though I do like Veteran Adventurer. I need the Rabbit Bite so I can kill stuff. It's pretty important to have interaction. Like, I, I just can't just be dead to, like, a crab or something. The adventure is quite good, yeah, I, I get it. This is a flyer, or do I want a two drop? Do I need the two drop that badly to like trade with things? I'm thinking how, how often is it gonna be a three three? Probably not, a lot of our creatures are actually not party people, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't really like Cliff Clavin that much. I don't know, this is also, I might just, take the captain. If we can make this a 3-3, three, three, I'm actually okay with it. Like, we're just playing a lot of non-party people in the deck, which is, so it's not going to be bigger than a 3-3 three, three most of the time. Is like the downside. Blight Blade is really good because it's, er it's an early play and, um, it's a card, it's a, it's a class I don't have yet. Yeah, so these these cards are really replaceable, like Outrider and Brute are really replaceable most times. You just don't want to force it. You don't want to have those in, those deck, in your deck you don't need to. Ooh, Takedown. Combo with Rabbit Bite also, but yeah, we need a Takedown. I would definitely play a Narla Colony here, but I need the Takedown so we can actually interact with opponents. We want to play more creatures, I guess, to make the Takedown better. I mean, we don't really need... Ooh. I mean, I like the 3-3, three, three, but Roiling Regrowth is actually kind of hilarious with three Fledglings and uh, two Felidar Retreats. This card's hilarious with uh, some of the Landfall cards I have. I, I, I don't think I would... I mean, maybe I would play the Far Side of Depth if I'm really desperate, but... Another Shelter or 2-3. Actually, I don't have any Shelters, right? What's my 3-drop slot at? Like, 2... I really, I really want the shelter though, so I can interact with my opponents by like, you know, doing something in response. This can also get rid of, uh, this can get rid of like a Nahiri's binding on my creature. You know, I am, I would like to get like a Scythe Cat. That would have been nice. I, I probably will play like one brute in this deck if I have to, just to have like another three drop. Because, like, the three drops I have are not really good at, like, blocking right now. Do I just take a Canopy Bail off? Do we just play more four drops? 
How many four drops do we even have? Like, that I'm realistically playing on four? I have a lot. This is really good with the Roiling Regrowth, I guess, and the other dude are... Another Tactics. I might play two Tactics. Oh, I don't need another four drop. We have so many four drops. Raptor number two is fine. I don't think I want an Allied Assault. This is a three drop, a two drop that can block and stuff. We'll take it. You know, disenchant for the best of one sideboard, nothing. Broken Wings. So we missed out a little bit on, uh, like, Nahiri's Binding, which is unfortunate, but we have some other ways of interacting. How many, how many parties do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five... I actually think that the America Captain might be bad in this deck, actually. Like, this is going to be a 2-2 a lot of the time in this deck, because, like, lack of uh, party types, like, besides Warrior, because it's a Warrior, so we need to have, like, a lot of um, Wizards and Rogues and Clerics to consistently make it a 3-3, which is where I want to be playing it. I mean, you never know. Sometimes in green-white, you actually can make this, like, a 4-4, because, like, green-white has the potential to, like, go really party. Oh, the Stream Raiders! Yeah, sorry about that. We were doing the draft, and I was, like, ranting and stuff. You don't think of the tactics deck either? Yeah, I could kind of see that. I don't really need it. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing it now. My bad. I, I guess I just got distracted by, uh, this deck was too good. The deck was too good to play. I kind of just want to play more lands, actually. Right. Yeah. No, thanks for reminding me. I, I'm usually good about it, because I think it's just, like, the, the game got me, like, really distracted. It was, or not, I mean, not the game, but, like, this got me really distracted. It usually doesn't happen. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. I kind of do want to play excess lands with so many landfall guys in the deck, honestly. Right? I mean, cut like a sum land because I don't, I don't really want to play stampede most of the time as a, because I don't need this ox, right? I don't think I need the ox, right? Like we can get around like a board stall without the ox. Is like my thought process around it. I don't think I want both combat tricks. I'll take one, I guess. I don't really like playing two combat tricks. I mean, what's my creature count at now? 16. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well, I want takedown to be more of a spell, really. Right? So this 16, 17, 18, 19... 19 lands. I think that's actually good in this deck, like 19 land. I want the takedown to, like, I need this takedown to not be, um, I need this takedown to be a spell most of the time. I could see cutting broken wings. I guess. I have Skyclave Apparition, I guess, if there's, like, a really bad enchantment that's causing me issues. I'll just do that. Um, alright, most kill of Joe Bags, most assist official Octavia. Rewards, we have the rewards taken care of. I have to remember there's rewards also. Yeah, I have... I mean, I have three... Oh, that's right, I can pick up the spell with the raptors and the stomper. can pick up the spell, too. You know. I can cut the McKinney Ox and play another combat trick. Right? If I need the, the second combat trick. Yeah, Practice Tactics is going to do, like, zero damage in this deck, unfortunately. Because, like, most of these cards are, like, not... Don't have types or whatever, the party types. Like, the this... We have, like, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven non-party non -party creatures. Which is kind of rough, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is fine. Like, I I feel like maybe this should be a combat trick, but I guess the four four has sometimes been like good if you're being 
aggressive, and it sort of works with the uh, roiling regrowth. You can potentially tap two things of it. You know. I do like the concept of casting roiling regrowth on the opponent's turn to, like, make this an 8-7 or something, or make this... You know, you haven't played enough decks... Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's, like, strictly necessary. I might just play, like, the Broken Wings or, like, a combat trick. I might just play a second combat trick. It's funny, like, in Magic, most of the time you don't want to play a bunch of combat tricks because they're kind of bad, right? Like, you just go, like, yuck, combat tricks suck in Magic, but then, like, if you... Played a lot of Eternal because there's like less instant speed interaction. You kind of start going, oh well, these combat tracks tracks don't actually seem that bad when you know I there's no there's not enough interaction that like screws me up and stuff, right? If I start running into a lot of decks where I wish I had the broken wings, and I guess we'll put it in because especially because we're a little short on interaction, but. We're a little short on interaction, so like Broken Wings or the second combat trick might actually just be better, but let's just see what happens right now. I've, I've been kind of like in 50% sometimes main decking Broken Wings and 50% not main decking Broken Wings. Like I'll just cut it because I, I figured out like the Broken Wings wasn't like great in that point. I mean, we had to keep this because of uh, Felidar Retreat. Snap keep it because of Felidar Retreat. We just need to live. I'm gonna play this first, and then probably just playing this as a land here next turn, but. Or not. Okay. Hmm. I guess I can play this as a land, and then if I flood out, I'll just. Hmm. It's really interesting. Don't wanna guarantee the four drop. Don't wanna guarantee a four. Do they have four? I guess you, I'm not going to play Felidar Retreat on four, right? It's kind of silly. I think I'm actually just going to play this as a land and not pick up a land with a Raptor. I, I, want, I have plenty of things to do with land with the Felidar Retreat anyways, right? Like, Felidar Retreat says all my lands are basically creatures or counters. I'm not going to pick anything up here. White, blue... Now we're flooding a little bit, but that's okay, honestly. I shouldn't have actually played that land there, because there's a chance they, um... Oh god, they're probably just dead, right? To Felidar Retreat into land. Are they dead to that? No, they're going to here. He's binding this. Bubble Snare. Rude! Rudeness. Do I just Felidar Retreat now and make a cat? I think I Felidar Retreat now, this turn, and make a cat, and then next turn I go Visionary counter all my guys. Or counters on them, I mean. I don't know if that made sense. This probably gets them really unhappy. Make a cat beast. So I really want to put the counters when they have, like, three guys getting counters and stuff, right? Hmm. So I can go Fledgling, Raptor, pick up the Thicket, play the Kabira Takedown or something, or, hmm, actually, wait, how do I want to do that? I guess... This is really weird, isn't it? I'm gonna do this first. Do they have a counter now, or what? They have a counter on this again? No, what? I mean, I think this is really good. This looks really good, right? Smite the Monstrous? Oh, Living Tempest. Okay, so they trade for the Raptor. Okay. That's fine. 
That's fine. We have a, a visionary and a takedown. That's all they have was a living tenth of Merfolk Falconer. Okay. Um. Could just take that down. Do I try to draw a card? I really want to try to draw a land. I can take that down and hit them for nine, right? Yeah, I feel like I want to take that down and hit them for nine. But I also want to hit a land. Is it? And then we just take that down while I can. Really wanted to hit another land there, but it's fine. We might be able to hit a land on the Visionary next turn. Is my plan. Yeah, there we go. Felidar retreats. Making the opponent sad since 2020. Alright, now we're in the gold zone, aka the bone zone, where uh, people's decks get really good. So that opponent, they had two flyers. So like, I think I actually just want this... I want the second... I want the Broken Wings or the second combat trick, because I feel like we're not actually getting directly in combat with people that much. Because we have so many flyers, right? Like, we probably don't need, like, two combat tricks. Maybe if we're playing red-green, I'd be more into, like, the combat trick. Right? I think we won the Broken Wings. Now we're testing it out. Oh yeah, thanks for hanging out, Car Taxi. Hope you have a good night. Um, I think we have to go to six. I can't, this doesn't do anything until turn four. This is much better. So I think, um, keep it. I think I could get rid of the Blight Blade. I know that's a one drop, but I feel like the Visionary makes up for, like, mulliganing more. Kinda, right? Let's play that out. Like, we need to make up for the mulligan. Kinda. So they could have a subtle strike to kill my 3-1, but that's fine. What do they have? Kill my 3-1, or what? So they're gonna kill my throw. Oh, Tango Florahedron. You think they block this? They might. No, they didn't. So they want to play a four drop next turn, which is fine. And we're gonna play Visionary next turn. So they're gonna play a four drop here. So like a canopy bailout, a dauntless survivor. Uh, so that trades with this. Okay. Subtle strike, kill this or what? Get in with both and play Yasharn. Sure. Get my lands, okay. A five drop now, a blood chief's thirst, rude. We needed that. Oh, the flood. Flood is real here. FI. Yep. Spam your flood emote if you have it, because we are definitely drawing a lot of lands. Horn Beetle, oh, that's kind of gross, actually. Now I wish I had that combat trick. This is potentially going to get out of the control. Oh my god, that's a lot of land. I mean, I'm technically playing 19 lands, but I have so many things I want to do with my land that it's just like... It's 
skeleton. Yeah. And then they make three one ones. I think we're kind. Of, yeah, we just drew way too many land, unfortunately. I have ten land to their four. Womp womp. Yeah, and they had like the removal spell for the Asharn also. And we don't have removal spells, which sucks. If they play some anything else here, I think we're pretty much done. Like if they play like some other creature here, we're pretty done and believe it's like we're just too far behind. You can't you can't like make up for uh having six more lands in your opponent. Yeah, that doesn't really matter, that could just been the ham sandwich. Claim the weight. Yeah, we're also sh one short, I guess, of potentially killing them with the uh, Raptor if I had it. Fearless Fledging, you're just too late. Right? They just go. We're just dead on board, right? We have to dig double block, and yeah, we just can't, we can't do it. Just drew too many lands. My weakness, my opponents having synergies and then playing a deck with very little removal. And then Broken Wings was actually kind of shitty because they're black green. That's one of the decks that's bad against. Broken Wings is bad against black green. I'm trying. James Jr. Oh, hey, no worries. Were you, my la were you my last opponent or something? I don't know. Uh, this hand is really awkward, but is Root Grazer? I'm just gonna keep it. We just flood it out a little bit. It happens. It happens. I don't get like too too worked up over like flooding out in these games. Like it's it's going to happen. That's just that's that's his magic for you. Yeah. Yeah, the deck is pretty good. It's re it has some really powerful threats. It's just a little bit. It's lacking on answers because we only got the one rabbit bite and the one skyclave apparition to deal with things. But hopefully this sticks around and we draw like a bunch of creatures and you know we got answers to stuff people are doing. Blue black. Okay. So I'm assuming they have an anti cognition for this. No, they don't. Okay, good. That's good. We can ta we can play out another land end of the turn. Here, I didn't even remember to play a land with the with the Rude Razor. Three colors. Oh my. Farsight Adept. Sure. Let's see what we draw. So we might draw another land I want to put in. Oh, a Yasharn. Hey. Just gotta remember to do this. Hey there, Fast Cookie, how's it going? Nice, nice. So we can't get into that, unfortunately. That's We don't have the ability... To, can we, actually? No, we can play... Oh, we can actually get rid of that. Is that worth it? I can't actually attack, unfortunately. Because I have to tap my Mirasa Rogue Razor to do it. You're getting sleepy. Well, I hope things are going well. 
with the sleepiness. I mean, maybe that sounds weird. I think we can just do it on their turn, actually. Like, find something I really want to kill, right? You hang out for 10 minutes before going back? Well, thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate it. So we can tap the Murasa Rude Grazer, put the planes into play, and then cast Kabira Takedown in response to something. Like, if they kill the Yasharn or something, we can kill something in response. I, I feel like they're going to kill something here, right? Kill my Yasharn, they tap out to play, like, a big removal spell. I really wish I had a big kicker spell to take advantage of the fact that I'm playing 19 lands, right? Deadly Alliance, really? Killing that one, I see. Um, I'm just gonna put a land, yeah. I can Kabira take down that. You got a few games of Hots of Jedi. That sounds like a fun time, for sure. I'd like to stop drawing land now. That would be nice. We're a little bit floody. Like, I feel like that takedown's gonna get a lot worse, like, if I wait on it, because they're probably not gonna play, like, an X2 that, like, the takedown's good against. Hopefully they just play, like, a Living Tempest. Oh, a Journey of Oblivion. Okay, that's fine. Because we can kill the Journey of Oblivion with Broken Wings. So I let that happen. And then I kill it. Because I get my, um... I get my Yasharn back, and then I get, um... I get more land out of my deck, which is nice. Yay, free land. They're just dead to a Stampede, right? Yeah, we just Stampede them. There we go. So, so that's one thing that's really important to know with like Journey to Oblivion type effects. They're different from like O Ring because they they have this clause that says um, the creature is exiled as long as um, the Journey to Oblivion is in play or whatever. So like, th there are some situations where you actually want to destroy the enchantment before it actually finishes. It finishes resolving the trigger. Oh, thanks, Japes. Japes, Japes Jr. Yeah, so... Like, say I have a Grackmaw or something, and then my opponent has Journey to Oblivion targeting my Grackmaw. Well, Grackmaw is a 0-0 zero, zero that has three counters on it and stuff. Like, actually, let me, like, look at it, right? Because I think it... How does Grackmaw work? No, I guess... No, I guess that would be fine. I, I, I guess what I'm thinking is, like... If there are some creatures where them getting exile is like functionally killing them, like 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 they wouldn't have the counters on them when they return to the battlefield, you actually want to destroy the journey to oblivion while the ability trigger is on the stack, so that um they don't get to um exile your guy and it still stays in play because it's something that sometimes like comes up occasionally, like, if you have a guy that has, like, extra counters on it or something like that, you don't really want that guy to, like, lose the extra counters by getting exiled by the, the Oblivion journey. You you want it to keep the counters. Whereas if you were talking about, like, actual Oblivion ring and then you destroy in response to the trigger, that's actually bad for you because then you won't get the creature back because it's, it's worded differently. You know... Because, like, Oblivion Ring actually has, like, two triggers. And then Journey to Oblivion only has one. So, like, destroying your... Destroying Oblivion Ring in response to, um... Your creature getting exiled is very bad, because then you don't get it back. Because what happens is that the, uh... The Oblivion Ring leaves the battlefield trigger, tries to resolve first, before your creature gets exiled. And then the... It, it fails, because your creature hasn't gone exiled yet. And then, um... The, the end of the battlefield exile, another permanent thing will kick in, and then that's just something to note. Yeah. So Broken Wings actually did some work there. Cause they played uh, an enchantment that we could destroy. I 
I definitely have had decks where I don't play Broken Wing just because I have, like, enough interaction to not need it. Like, if I have, like, a ton of Rabbit Bites and Nahiri's Bindings and I already have, like, a Skyclave Apparition or some other main deckable way to, like, deal with, like, an enchantment artifact, then I don't think I need the Broken Wings, but I just have very little um, interaction in this deck, so every piece of interaction is much needed. I feel like we have two drops in the deck, I'm just not drawing them. And I think here I need to mulligan this. Because I'm not doing anything proactive until turn four. Okay, this is better. We just get rid of the land. I'll keep the Broken Wings in the dark, because they could be playing an Enchantment or a Flyer. So blue, so they likely have an Enchantment or Flyer. Um, I'm going to respect them having the Duelist and not attack my Blight Blade. Hmm. Well, I guess that went by too fast that they don't have it. Okay, so that went by so fast that I, that yeah, they, they because they would have actually had a trigger. They could cast the uh, Blight Blade in response. Right. Hmm. So we can trade there. I don't have the rabbit bite on on me right now. Is like the thought process. I guess we'll attack here. We're gonna just trade there. It does make their blood beckoning better if, if we trade. Right. Like if they have blood beckoning, they get it back and stuff. But that's slow. I, I don't know. I. If they play like a 3 3 here, I wish I did an attack with a Blight Blade. I think I'm just gonna trade there, yeah. Hopefully, I, uh. Oh, they're blue red, Riptide. Okay, that is kinda scary. Just ramp. Get a 5 drop. Or just hit more land, that also works, right? I think they just snap block there. The thing with Mirasa Root Grazer is they can't tell if I have a trick because I'm always gonna keep getting priority to like activate the Root Grazer, so they might not they might think I have a trick here. They might think I have a trick here, but I think they're just gonna block because I feel like they don't actually have a lot of things that matter with um this guy. Actually, I could have played another land there, right? But I guess I can just do it end of turn. Oh, Rusage Raids. Well, that's really bad, actually. We need to kill that. That Rusage Raids, but... But they get a 2-2 two -two still. Yeah. Now, I guess... I I guess if I did that in response, they might have thought I had a trick, but... Or waited. I should have actually waited on that. Because there's a chance that I have a trick. But if I didn't do it on the way in, I'm probably not going to do it on the way out, right? Fearless Sledging, okay. So we're going to get beat up by Blue Red Kicker. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Airborne Chicken. Have a good night. Hope hope you have a good rest. Yeah, we flooded out really bad the last two games. Maybe that's like the downside of playing 19 lands, right? Yeah. Evening Skydiver, okay. I don't have any artifacts, so that's good, right? Hmm. I could try to, like, ambush them here, but then they know, like, if I don't attack here, then I likely have something as a problem, right? So I think I actually have to still attack here. Might as well put that on the battlefield to make it bigger. 
Like, so the thing is, you can surprise people by, you know, picking up land and replaying it and stuff. Like, doing land plays on the opponent's turn and stuff is kind of cool. But if they have a bubble snare here, I'm also pretty dead. Like, they bubble snare the fearless fledgling. Cunning geyser mate. Oh, okay. Bounce by fearless fledgling. Okay. Well, I guess we just died again, yeah. Shit. And they have two flyers. Ouch. Yeah. We, we flooded out really hard in both of the games we lost. We lost to uh, Black Green because they got a bunch of synergies and then uh, lost to um, lost to Blue Red because they had the Rusa Drakes into a bunch of kicker spells. Yeah, we actually had the answer for the Rusa Drake, but the problem with Rusa Drakes is that uh, even if you kill it, they still have like a 2-2 left over, so it kind of sucks, right? It's just Maybe I should just cut a land that, that also feels like, um, you know, very, uh, very uh, results oriented. I think we're fine, we just need like opponents like to have like more reasonable draws, Yeah. Well, we have the Tz we have the uh, Felidar retreat. I think we need to keep this for sure. Oh, and the turn two fledgling, which is really nice, also. I'm just gonna err on the side of caution and play of sp turn two spare supplies. All right. Well, they're kind of going a little slow. It's fine with me. So they can subtle strike that, but I guess that's fine. Let's crack it, okay. I mean, we're not really putting much pressure on them. I, oh, black, green. Oh, and we're starting to flood, but... I think that's actually okay, flooding. With, uh... What I have. I'm just gonna play... I might just play Visionary here. So they're gonna kill the Fearless Fledgling, I think. Broken Wings that. Okay, well at least they're not Broken wings in my, uh... They didn't get the Broken Wings my Felidar Retreat because, man, they'd be really, really sad. Because my Felidar Retreat's gonna make them hella sad next turn, right? They're gonna be so sad about it, I think. Another removal spell. Could I go Felidar Retreat into land next turn? Hopefully they don't have like another uh, Broken Wings. They could have two, i definitely run into people with two Broken Wings in their deck. In best of one. What you got? And you go Gray Grip Sun. Alright, Stream Raiders. I don't think my opponent could be sniping me because one, I'm a very small magic streamer and I'm also not using a name that uh, they would know. Like, you'd, you'd have to like look really hard to like figure out who I am based on my name. I think they're just timing out, which is fine. Kitty! Look at that cat, it's so cute. It has like a little bow, like the little energy bow on it and stuff. It's supposed to, it's a kitten or whatever. Do, 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 do. Delta Retreat is also really dumb, by the way. Yeah, Yashar and hello. So they have something, I think it's a Broken Wings. Are they going to kill something in response to a uh, fellow retreat, like the Fearless Fledgling, or what? Feels like they're going to kill the Fearless Fledgling in response to Felidar retreat. 
Or they're just gonna time out one of those things, it's also fine. If the intersect, yeah, I mean, did, um, did mobile start yet? Is that why, or? Hmm. No, they don't actually have anything, it's just AFK, I guess. Having Yasharn is really good though, because we're going to like get more lands off of Yasharn, and then we can't do the roiling regrowth unfortunately, because like that's not yeah, I think they just timed out. They, they probably just timed out, like they saw that I'm doing this and then maybe their internet connection got messed up. I mean it's fine. Hey, thanks for the follow, James Jr. I appreciate it. Hope, hope your evening is going well. Glad that you're sticking around to chat and then enjoying the drafts. Alright, I mean, that's fine. We can, we can chat with the chat while they're doing it. Oh, Stream Raiders rewards. Oh, we lost. Oof. Okay, yeah, they're dead. My bad. Well, that's a good, good timing, because now I can do Stream Raiders, because, uh... All right, gold tier four. Let's reassign stream raiders. Oh, thank you very much. I'm, that makes me happy to hear that. You know, I, I've been doing this streaming thing for like three and a half years, and I, I still, I still, it still, you know, warms my heart when you know people say they enjoy the content and stuff. And I mean, I enjoy magic even when I get, even when I lose. It's, it's actually fine. You know. Hey, there. Have a good night, fast cookie. Thank for stopping by. Appreciate it. Hope you uh, have a good evening. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. Thanks for participating in the stream raiders too, by the way. And hey there, sibling. How's it going? I, I mean, I said hello earlier, but hope you're doing well. You called your resume down to two pages and you can't fit education and you're not sure if that matters. Um... I think as long as you put, like, your most recent thing, usually that's fine, right? I, I don't think you have to get too deep into it. This is actually okay to keep. I'm, I'm okay with keeping this. Especially now, and I think we just play that. Because we can... We're a little... We, we're a little land-hungry, this hand. Mono blue, you say. Alright, they're gonna counter this. No, they didn't counter it. Okay, so now we can do some stuff. Blue-red, they should probably Royal Eruption, my 2-3. I don't think they should let me untap with the 2-3, but... They're letting me untap with the 2-3, okay. Feels like they have a counter. Or a royal eruption, a glacial grass. Okay, I'm just gonna tap it in response. Put a land in the battlefield, yep. I'm just gonna let that happen. I could counter um, their glacial grass by Sajiri sheltering, but I don't think that's worth it. I just want to play my guy out. They're gonna bubble snare my Yasharn, I think, yeah. But I can I can free it from the bubble snare eventually, so that's okay. Like if they bubble snare here, I'll just give it pro blue at some point. Elect Ardent Electromancer, I see. Okay. Oh, okay, well that's really rude. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That was unfortunate. The draft is going well. For sure, my opponents are having a little bit of luck, but, I mean, that happens in these games, right? Your opponents are going to get a little lucky at times, for sure.
Rather light. That could be good later for sure. Yeah, that rebuke was pretty disgusting. That's also an uncommon. I shouldn't play around it. Huh. I'm gonna take the first hit because I have Ravabite and I don't want to turn on my Ravabite. Rock Light Source. Yeah, we need to kill that. That's a problem. For sure. That can't stay around. Play the Zeem Raptor. Yeah, we can bounce that back to hand. We have the combo, like if they try to kill one of these, I have uh Tzijir. I can play a land and then Tzijir. Oh, a Charix, okay. Um, well I can exile that and give them a generic 4-4. Right. Assuming they don't have removal. Is so attack here or what? I think it's just gonna take yeah, so we just play that and then. I mean if I give them a generic I guess so what I can do here is I guess I play the flyer first, actually, right? Because I don't know if I'm exiling that matters right now. I don't think it does. I feel like playing the flyer makes a lot more sense. Yeah. I can't do both the things I want to do if I do that. Okay. So they're gonna try to kill my 3-4, and then I can Ciziri Shelter in response, I suppose. Because I can play a land off of the Rube Razor, Spikefield Cave. Feels like they have another Thundering Rebuke. C4 Stalker, okay. It's like exiling that doesn't matter. Hmm. So I have seven right now, so if I were to exile their Charix, I don't have lethal with even if I could play all of it at this time. So I think here we attack with the Flyers, play the Raptor, and then leave with the Shelter, I think. Yeah. They could have a Chilling Trap that's kind of a pain in the ass if they have it. No. Okay. This ends. So now we have a takedown and a, a shelter if they do something here. Cause I, I think they're gonna kill one of my flyers and they can shelter in response. Yeah, so they're gonna kill the shepherd of here, spellcraft. No. Let's give that pro red. No, thank you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, Platinum players. Making it hard. Yeah, there's quests in Stream Raiders now. There's a daily quest, a weekly quest, and then a, um, a, uh, it's like a, um, lifetime quest or something like that. Like, I think one of the quests is, like, get two units to level 30 or something like that, and then it's kind of tough. You just have to work really hard to uh, get there. Sorry, I was like, let me close that O-ring. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Jake Jr. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, we went from 2-2 two, two to 4-2. Yeah, we're just 
that was definitely a hard game because my opponent had like a lot of uh, removal. Oof, yeah. So much removal is scary, actually. That's what happened. Daily quests everywhere you go. Yeah, daily quests in Genshin Impact, daily quests in WoW, daily quests in um in your relaxation game now. Oh, I can't keep this hand. It just doesn't do anything until turn four. Okay. Mm, I'm going to keep it, and I think we're going to get rid of the Broken Wings. Yeah. Turn two fledglings, pretty decent. All right, Mirasa, Might of Mirasa is not that great here, but. Let me guess, Soaring Thought Thief or something? That's not cool. Oh, it's Azim Royal Maid. That I don't care too much about if they have that. Like, Thought Thief would have been more of a yuck. If they have, um, if they have, like, a Subtle Strike that kind of messes me up, I'm not going to block. So they didn't have Subtle Strike because they would have snap killed this if they did. Oh, they have Demon Disciple. Well, that's hella rude. You know, shit. Gonna have to take three from that. Yep. If they just pass this turn... They don't know when to run out the Visionary because it means they have a Counterspell. So they have a Counterspell? No, they have a Core Celebrant. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So they're like three color clerics or something? Is that what's happening? I don't know. Uh, visionary because vision is scary. Okay. So they're going to kill my Visionary, attack me for four. Fine. Oh, they have that. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, actually. I mean, Jace isn't that insane in draft, so are they playing black, blue, and splashing for a core celebrant, or what? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I might... Oh, they didn't want to attack with their disciple. Okay, that's fine. So I think here we play the Felidar Retreat. Just make, start getting some value. Make a Cat Beast. We don't really have an attack now. I mean, I guess I could have attacked in there and they just block with their 1-4. I should have actually attacked with a 3-2. Wow, that's hella rude. Sure. Ugh. <sighs> I can't give that, that, that's not a creature they can give protection to. I should have actually attacked with the 3-2 last turn because there's a chance they might have blocked. If the, I mean, I guess they just block with the 3-1, right? Yes, it's not even that good for me. But then having to feed the swarm was pretty disgusting. And, you know, just playing three-color stuff. Yeah. You know, human rogue, yeah. You know. Yep. We don't have a lot of flyers, that's kind of the issue. We're a little lacking on flyers. It was fledgling. I mean, I can attack the 3 2 and the 2 2 into the Jace and stuff, but. I'm not sure what that's... Them playing three colors is really absurd also, right? I think we have to, like, kill these Jaces to, like, stop them from doing stuff. Yeah. Okay.
So they have a wind robber and a duelist now. Yep. They're just drawing so many cards off of those Jaces too. Like they drew two cards already off the Jaces because they have the kick Jaces. Yeah, and they're gonna just draw one off the other Jace because they're just drawing all their uh, free their cheap cards off of the other Jace. And they have a duelist now. Gonna kill the fledgling. Feels like they're gonna kill the fledgling now. Merfolk wind robber. Yeah. It's six. So we just attack everything into the uh attack stuff i mean i can attack into here and then they play their guy and if i attack with the three two i think i actually just like attacking with everything because it feels like they have something well i guess if i attack with this they can shrink this to a one three and gang block the shit out of it i guess that's not that good for me I don't know. I need them to get to use that. It was going to use a Zulaport Duelist. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew they had that. That's fine, right? Gain a life, yeah. Now they don't have blue mana up. They can bounce it with a Wind Robber. I don't care, really. Now they're tapped out of blue, so I can... Get this to resolve, which is good. So they've drawn three cards off their Jaces already because they just keep stacking a top of Oh, nice. Okay. Well, that was annoying. Their last card was a Vanquish Week, and they have another removal spell, it looks like another Feed the Swarm or something. Jace, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that turn five, uh, Jace into like three removal spells was the issue, right? Because they had the Vanquish and the Feed the Sun. Oh, Relic. Oh, they're just three color clerics. Okay. Yeah. So just attack into the Jaces now. Triple block. I think we need to kill one of their Jaces before anything else can happen, right? They have another spell or what? Just letting it die, or what? No, they... They're just letting that die. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I shouldn't have played land, because now I can't play my protection spell. Shit, because I can't play that. I just sack their, uh, yeah, the draw card, yeah. Because they could kill the Stomper now. I don't have protection up for my Stomper. This is a lot less scary if they can only do it once a turn. Yeah, but I should have left up the planes here for the Sajiri Shelter. Because now uh, if they have a removal, it's pretty bad. They could kill the Stomper with like a Deadly Alliance. Yeah, because they're going to kill the Stomper now. Yeah. Yep, that was bad.
Just double block it. Bounce it, okay. Really? And then, oh, they're gonna sack it, that's why. Yeah. Yep. This game would have been a lot easier if I just remember to like leave up the Sajiri shelter, right? Um, but I didn't. Because uh, now they can just have like all manners of stuff to annoy me with. They're really digging for something. But I mean, they're putting the stuff on top too, so I guess like they're just hitting a lot of good stuff on top of their deck, anyways. You know. Or, oh wow, okay, that's also a problem, because now they're going to start getting their clerics back. Like their demon disciple and shit. <sighs> so we have a removal spell here. We need to get rid of the Jace, is the problem. Another duelist, nice. I guess... I could just, I think I just let that happen. Just like mono uh, duelist. I think I have to let that happen. Oh, the takedown, nice, nice, yeah. I need to just leave up the uh, takedown. Not the takedown, but I need to leave up the Sajiri Shelter, yeah. Yeah. I think we're actually slowly just going to get milled out by uh, this Jace, it feels like. We could play like a Flying Blocker now. A Blight Priest, yeah. Yeah, just three color clerics with Jace. Four Celebrant, yeah. I, we just don't have enough interaction for what they're doing. They're just like a blue-white, they're like a white-black cleric deck splashing for Jace. And we're just kind of Drawing a lot of land again and stuff is the issue. I, I think I think if I had kept the um if I had kept the uh the 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 Sajiri shelter up that one turn, I think there was a chance I could get out of it. But then having to the answer for the Felidar retreat and then um two more removal spells is the problem, yeah. So they can copy um yeah, I think we're just dead, unfortunately. Just getting way too much life here. Yeah. We, we can't beat that, we just don't have enough removal. We had like, waste so much effort on, like, the double Jace. So. That was unfortunate. We had, like, a pretty good green-white deck, but we just... Lost to, like, two pretty good decks, like the, um... What was it? The black green counter deck that had like the beetle with the skeletons and then um the other deck and then yeah, and then losing the like Esper clerics kind of felt bad too, but I mean that's gonna happen. That's like best of three. Best of three. Splashing Jace. Yeah, they were just playing white blue clerics and they're splashing Jace to a Zulaport duelist and a Merfolk Wind Robber. Yeah, so, happens. Alright, 4-3. Anyways, thanks everyone who watched uh, this video on YouTube. It was recorded live at twitch.tv slash Blue. Here, I'm here five days a week. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a good evening.